fa 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 just up here in the hills outside of the main city in Andorra for press conference for Team Giant Alperson. They've just announced uh, that Sunweb's coming on as a title sponsor from next year. And ironically, given the name of the sponsor, it's been pouring with rain throughout the announcement. So anyway, beautiful up here in the mountains, as it seems to be all throughout Andorra, but uh, just heading back to the hotel now. Washing. About time, uh, starting to smell. Back off. Starting. Back off. Right, we've had our swim. And it's not just us who have a bit of a rest day. The caravan too. They've parked up in the centre of... Um, I don't, where are we? Andorra Andor, of the area. Yeah. So, yeah, and you get the guys here. They're sort of, this morning they've been mending them where they've half drove off a cliff edge, I presume. <laughs> it was interesting seeing them not throw out goodies. Some of the machines are slightly mental. Yes, this is the first sit-down meal we've had on tour, I think. Um, and it actually feels like a novelty at this point. Uh, normally it's the other way around to eat out as a novelty, but yeah. Um, so it was time for a family dinner. Today, just about to uh, jump on a Facebook Live. Just working out how the new Android phone works. Yeah, ready and rocking and rolling. We're at, it's the day after the rest day, still in Andorra. So it's, we're going to see how the riders have recovered, if their shoes have dried out, if the bumps on their arms have calmed down from the hail. That's if they come out the car and the buses. So it, here's something that isn't all that common. The riders warming up on the trainers before the start of the Tour de France stage. And the reason they're doing that is because there is a 20 kilometer climb straight out of the start here today. So it means they'll want to be on their game or possibly getting into the early breakaway. You got it right. One side of the tunnel, nice and sunny. The other side, I hope the guys are going to put some lights on their bikes today because this is thick. It's a real Joffrey suit. Go on, hit 88 miles an hour. Let's see if we go back in time. Only if you watch it in Europe. He's videoing for the vlog. I'm just going to go and have a few tears. See you, man. Did you hear eyes? that sad off day? <laughs> Any tears? Yeah. Nah, I was close to it. Yeah. Freaking tall. Was tour. that when she punched you in the <laughs> night in the nads? Or? Yeah. <laughs> So we're at the morning of stage 11, starting here in Carcassonne, and we've got to the start a few hours early to check out this. Castle. How cool is that? How old is it, do you know? I remember it was at it was least 100 field. years old. Easy, yeah. yeah. It's a bit Disney, isn't it? All this down there, the mole, many moons ago, and I know stuff about this because I'm British and I know about castles, would have been filled in with water and dragons. And dragons? And pheasants. No, peasants. 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 See a lot of the vehicles are starting to make their way out onto the course. So we need to get ourselves off this road and into our car so we can get away ahead of the riders. Come on, mate. Come on, go. Another stage, another day lost in the technical zone. Just when I thought I had it figured it out, they go and move the entrance and the way they set it up. So I think I found my way. 
way out to the press area, but you can never be too sure. Okay, here we go. Who am I? Who am I? I'm lost. I don't know where I am. Time with Christoph Hamon, photographer extraordinaire, cryptographer, cryptographer, So, Shane, give us your assessment of this parking job of the car next to us. It's uh, incredible. I think it was Harry Houdini parked the car. <laughs> he must have liquidized himself to get well, You'll have to be Harry Houdini to get our car out of that out there. Eh? That's like surgical precision. Yeah, so we've been driving up and the crowds have been very thick as you'll probably see from other videos in the vlog but uh, there was one section where the crowds were right over I presume were very drunk uh, but actually started shaking the car in front of us uh, shaking the roof and uh, when we got to them they put a traffic cone in front of the way um, and came right at the car it was actually quite threatening so, you know, it's great that cycling has spectators uh, you know I mean you can see ahead there's some really unique costumes and it's fantastic but when it gets to the point where you know you're putting yourselves in danger and intimidating drivers who are just trying to get up the mountain safely and not hit anybody uh, it really yeah it's, it's just it's going too far and it is quite frightening because obviously we're responsible we've got this kind of thing as well <laughs> Dave what are you up to? One is keeping warm on top of round two with this wind, short and the uh, preferred clothing choice. To pass the line with your bike. Yeah, yeah, you have to. It's a bike race, isn't it? <laughs> right, it's pretty crazy here, top of on two. We're halfway up now. You've seen the TV, you know what's going on. Right, explain away, Matt. All right, so I've just been waiting at the Team Sky Bus to try and get some comments from Chris Froome after his mishap today. Quite extraordinary seeing him run up the road. And after waiting there for what, probably half an hour, the team just packed up and left. So, um, pretty Cheers, Sky. Cheers. Yeah, pretty frustrating. Um, but what can you do? It's kind of the way it works on the tour. So, we'll move on. We'll try and get someone else. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> what a crazy day, huh? Holy wow! Police behind us. Caravan there. just been blown over in the wind oh, at the top of Mont Ventoux. That is TV. utterly incredible. Wow. We also saw a satellite dish being ripped off the top of a van um, and very nearly became a lethal frisbee. So, yeah, it's completely wild up here. You can see there's this huge amount of clouds to the, the, the right. Yeah, this is wow. insane.
Hello, good morning. So Shane, tell us about this place we're staying in. Uh, it's an Airbnb place. Uh, with, uh, I found when I was booking the tour stuff, uh, it's just magical. It's 16th century. Um, we've done videos, so you'll see them. Uh, but it's just, this he said, I think 10 rooms, but it feels like there's more than that. And everything is just ancient. I mean, if you look at the roof there, it's ancient beings. And... We're staying on the fourth floor, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So, uh, and actually they, they said that, that the different levels are different ages. So. The very bottom level is 14th century, and then 16th century, and then, and then the, the, the top levels are a little more, uh, maybe 200 years old. So. Yeah, only 200 years old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's fantastic. It's the, probably the nicest place I've stayed in, in mm. memory. It's, yeah. it's really cool. Dave, are there any Pokemon in Vivier? There's one that you can shoot baguettes and croissants from its eyeballs. Yeah, I haven't seen that one before. It's a limited edition. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> How amazing is this place? Not just the Pokemon, but the scenery. <laughs> is it gonna is it gonna see it? Where is it? Where is it? That's caught some ink. You freaking geek. <laughs> nice little view here from the parking spot at the uh, finish of stage 13, the first time trial. Beautiful. Snake. Yeah. Are you seriously going for a jacket? It's about 30 no, degrees. No, no, no. I'm going to do a discardation. Jettison your jacket? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dave on Pokemon Go again. Just can't keep yeah, away from you it. You never know. There might be like some dust monster out here or something. Maybe a rattlesnake Pokemon. One that shoots rattlesnakes for fingers. Gives away. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. It's Uncle Matt. Am I the cat whisperer now? <laughs> Are you sick of motorway food yet? No, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Shane, <laughs> sick of motorway food yet? No, no. Well, it's all good. Well, apart from the Christmas, but what is it? Really? Well, that's pure black dark chocolate. Yeah. yeah. We are going to get these as well. Though. All of them. Nice. Learn to speak English, Dave. Rouge gorge, Robin, Savoie, Papillon. Butterfly. Tra, train. That's a tough one there. There's a copper every 25 meters. Like fully vested up with guns and that, that. And then you've got chickens, yeah. So we finish of stage 14 today, and normally the stage finishes are in some town or city, but today. I'm not exactly sure where we are, but we've got a, uh, a bird sanctuary right next to the finish line, which is something a little bit different. Yeah, we've just walked around, just spent 20 minutes. Uh, there's all sorts of bird parrots and quite a lot of other things. Um, and then there was also a, a section where there was uh, kangaroos and emus, so it was an Australian section. Which is not quite as weird for me, but a bit different. Yeah, I've never seen them, so I've seen the emus, but not like, that kind of room, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, there is actually a lot more, but we've only had time to see maybe a, a third of the park, um, so we'd have to come back to other time. And there is a bike race going on right now, which yeah. we should probably kind of <laughs> keep track of. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ahre.